This video will demonstrate how to enter timesheet data for employees and contractors. At this point, you should have employees and contractors already set up. To start, click on Payroll from the Bookkeeper menu and select Enter Timesheets or click on the Enter Timesheets icon from the Bookkeeper main window. The Timesheet Entry Wizard window opens, showing all payroll cycles set up for the company as well as the list of all employees and contractors. You can choose to enter timesheets by payroll cycles or for selected individuals. For this video, I will enter timesheets by payroll cycle. Click on a payroll cycle in the list and click Next. In the timesheet summary window, all employees and contractors assigned to that payroll cycle will be shown in the list. To create a timesheet, click on the Enter Time link on the right-hand side. This will open the Timesheet Detail window. In the upper left corner of this window, the date range of the timesheet will appear. Based on the payroll cycle frequency and the dates of the last timesheet entered, the begin and end dates will automatically be set. These dates can be changed if necessary. The list of dates shown for working time entry and time off entry will be based on this date range. So if you change the dates, you need to click the List Dates button in order to generate new line items to enter time into. In the upper right hand corner, the timesheet type is shown. Changing the type will change how you enter time as well as what data fields you can include with the time entry. The type is automatically set based on the selection made when setting up an employee or contractor. The simple layout allows for quick entry of hours per day with any associated comments. Make sure the wage type has the proper selection for the hours being entered. The wage type will be associated to all working time entries. The extended layout allows you to split hours for any day where you need to track hours by different wage types. For example, an employee may work for eight hours at the regular wage and another two hours of overtime. Click on the split button to create another entry for that day. You may do this not just for different wage types, but for different jobs. Just select the appropriate values for each line item. To remove the split, click the delete button. You can create as many splits as necessary for a particular day. The time clock layout provides more granular entry of time by allowing you to enter time in and time out entries for employees. You can do two sets of time in and time out entries per day. Time can be entered in 12 hour or 24 hour formats and the total hours will be automatically totaled for each section and for the day. And as with extended layout, you can split days and enter separate wage types or jobs. I'll choose another employee to enter timesheet data for. Above each time entry section is a quick fill button. This allows for speedy entry of hours when you can easily split a total number of hours equally across a set number of days. Click on the quick fill button to show a pop-up where you can enter the total hours for the timesheet period. This value will be split evenly across all business days, but you can optionally select to include weekend days. Clicking the Fill button will populate the fields with the hours. You can further change these values if necessary. In the bottom left is where you enter any time off. Add or remove entries by clicking the appropriate buttons. In this example, if Minnie took two vacation days on Monday and Tuesday, I would zero out her hours in the working time entry section and add the two vacation days in the time off entry section. When timesheets are imported into a payroll cycle, if the time off entry is linked to a wage type, which is done as part of the employee setup process, earnings will be calculated for that time off entry such as paid vacation time. Any unpaid or unlinked time off entries will just be tracked, but since they are not linked to any wage type, 
no earnings will be computed during the payroll run. Using QuickFill operates the same as it does for working time entry, except for time off options. On the bottom right side, the recap of wage and time off entries will be displayed, where you can verify the total hours of the time period. Click OK to save the timesheet, and you will be returned to the timesheet summary screen with the timesheet information displayed for the person you just entered time for. You can make adjustments by clicking on the View Modify link to open up the timesheet entry detail window again. Continue entering timesheet data, and when complete with all entries, click the Create Timesheets button to save all your work. If you need additional information, please refer to the Bookkeeper Help file.